Comparisons between COVID-19 and the flu have been common with the spread of the virus. Yeah, but clearly the response to each is very different. Our Bill Folsom went one-on-one -on -one with the El Paso County Public Health Medical Director to explain the difference. Like COVID-19's rapid evolution, the comparison to flu has changed. It started showing the two are viruses that affect the respiratory system, but I'm told the two are not apples to apples comparison. You can't even say it's apples to oranges or even apples to a pear. There's still a lot to learn about COVID-19. Well known now, but just weeks ago, the term COVID-19 was an unknown. Some offered comparisons to the flu. Trying to help us put it into perspective. Uh, by comparing it to something that's known. El Paso County Public Health Medical Director Robin Johnson says it's time to update our thinking and discussions. As we know more about COVID and what is happening, there are some real difficulties in making those comparisons. A lot is known about the flu. It shows up in the community every year. The strain alters, but your body still recognizes the virus. What is different about COVID is that we've never seen it in our community before, so no one has immunity to really fight this. Flu shots are common and easily accessed. There's no such thing as a COVID shot. Um, we do not have a vaccine for it. If you get the flu, doctors have medications to help. Another no for COVID-19. We don't have antivirals that we know actually help with the symptomology. Flu season runs fall through spring. The rapid spread of COVID-19 is a major contrast. It's coming in more of a, a wave. And so we're seeing a huge peak of the cases all at once instead of spread out over time. As for the flu, Dr. Johnson says for now, leave the comparisons in the past. Watching out for you, Bill Folsom, News 5.